Hello again, everyone. This is Collocations Part 22. This is the 22nd video in my collocation series, and like the others, I'll present five commonly used collocations to you numbered 106 to 110. But first, I'll give you the opportunity to guess the correct word or words to complete each one. Then I'll give you the answers along with an additional example for each collocation. I also recommend that you pause the video at each question to give yourself some extra time to think of the answers. So are you ready? Okay, here we go. Number 106. And the answer here is C went over. The complete collocation is went over the test results, or go over the test results. And the example is, my doctor went over the test results with me about my health after my recent physical examination. Okay, so to go over a test result, like in our example here, it means to review it. Okay, to go over something. All right, it's kind of a phrasal verb that's in this collocation. This is used very often. And the other two options here, came over or viewed over, they just don't work. Okay, so to go over test results, that's our collocation. Here's another example. I went over the test results for my eye examination by myself, but I was very confused, so I asked my doctor to explain them to me, and I was finally able to understand them much better. Okay, we have the same situation here with reviewing the results of a test, okay? This is usually used with medical things, okay? Some type of a medical examination, all right? But you can use it for something else, all right? So to go over the test results means to review them. Got it? Okay, now for number 107. And the answer here is C, transformed. The complete collocation is completely transform one's appearance. And our example is, he completely transformed his appearance when he lost 50 kilos last year. All right, so to completely transform one's appearance, it means to completely change how you look, all right, or how somebody looks. In our example, the person lost 50 kilos, which probably changed his appearance quite a bit. All right, that's what it means. The other two here, A and B, which is transfixed and transmuted, they both don't work, okay? Here's another example. Her new wig completely transformed her appearance, and I had trouble recognizing her when I first saw her. All right, so in this case, the wig is something that changed the appearance of someone. And it was such a transformation that this person couldn't even recognize who this woman was. Okay, so to completely transform one's appearance is to entirely change how one looks. Got it? All right, number 108. The answer here is A, pattern, and the collocation is pattern of behavior. And our example is the thief was easy to catch because it was easy to follow his pattern of behavior in each of his crimes. Now, a pattern of behavior is a particular way that you do something or something is done in a given situation. So, in this case, the crimes that this thief committed were done in the same way. So there was a pattern that the detectives, I guess, could follow, all right? That's why it was easy to catch him, because they could follow what he did at every crime, okay? Now, way of behavior and print of behavior, they don't work, all right? Here's another example. It is going to be hard to adjust my pattern of behavior to life in college, but I think I can do it. All right, so this person is talking about changing 
the way that they behave, let's say, before they go to college. And according to the example, the person thinks that they can do it. Okay, so they're going to change the way they live. Maybe they live at home and their mom does everything for them. When they go to college, they're on their own. So they have to change the way they behave. All right? That's what this pattern of behavior means. Got it? All right. Now for number 109. And the answer here is C, risk. The collocation is lower the risk of. And the example is, we will be able to lower the risk of disease by washing our hands thoroughly before we eat each meal. All right, so if you lower the risk, it means to lessen the potential danger of getting sick or getting a disease of some kind. All right, and in our example, we all know this, right? That if we wash our hands thoroughly, that we can reduce this risk of getting a disease, okay? This is used quite often. Now, lower the jeopardy or lower the liability. Hmm, they're very close, but they not really used as often as this is used. Okay, this is more of a commonly used collocation. Here's another example. If you stop smoking, you will definitely lower the risk of disease. Okay, so I think we know this, right? If you don't smoke, you're going to lower the chance or the risk, all right, or the potential of getting a disease like lung cancer or some other disease. Okay, so that's what lower the risk used very often. And now for our final collocation, number 110. And the answer here is B, specific. And the complete collocation is following the specific instructions or following specific instructions. They're both used like that. And the example is, it was easy to fix my computer by following the specific instructions I found online from the company's website. All right, so specific instructions, this means to follow or to do exactly or precisely what the instructions or directions are to do something. It's usually a step-by-step -step thing. So specific instructions are exact instructions, okay? And this is what happened in our example here. The person was trying to fix their computer, or they did fix their computer, because they followed the exact instructions from the website, from the company. Got it? All right, here's another example. Our teacher required that we follow the specific instructions given by the university about how to avoid plagiarism. All right, so now there's specific instructions about how to not copy somebody else's work, all right? Uh, plagiarism, that's what it means, all right? So this is what's happening in our example here. The teacher is telling the students to follow very, very closely the specific instructions on how to avoid this, okay? Which is a big thing in university, all right? Got it? So to follow specific instructions means to exactly follow the direction step by step. Got it? That's all for this video. Thanks again for subscribing and please like and share this video if you get a chance. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.